so the question is uh, how much voltage can be produced by a mega or in the other words uh, if you have electrical installation or you want to test a mega uh, equipment or uh, the cable or insulation uh, you should bought or you should uh, test the, that specific equipment on which voltage levels so there is a thumb rule that if the voltage level is less then you will be able to measure the less uh, mega ohms uh, values and for example um, if you have if you want to test uh, a low voltage cables uh, up to 600 volts so then 1 kV of handheld basically is, is kind of multimeter uh, its shape will be look, look like a multimeter that will be enough to test the insulation which is normally used for example when you are testing the control wiring control cables uh, that one kv handheld will be it will be enough so you don't need to buy always a 5 kv or 10 kv multimeter that will be expensive and also it is difficult to carry and it will need more time to charge so you have to uh, check your requirement and based on requirement you have to buy uh, insulation tester that is really handy and cost effective and easy to operate so the, this uh, IR testers are available in the market up to the range of 15 kV so now the requirement because mostly uh, in the field I have found that 5 kV mega is mostly available so the 5 kV mega have the range so you can select 5, 4, 3, 1, 500 volts so range is available mostly we have seen the 5 kV mega but now IEEE has uh, defined the new requirements that if the, if the insulation size is more than 12 kV the insulation should be tested by 10 kV uh, IEA tester so now uh, if you want to test the MV cables uh, more than 12 kV then now the trend is to test it by 10 kV insulation tester so this is basically some introduction about the Mega selection, thank you.